Good morning guys, it's Sid Plays 87 here coming at you at 3 o'clock in the morning on Monday, September the 2nd. And we are literally in the final, final stages of FIFA. Almost everyone has switched off. And I was racking my brain in the shower just now thinking, okay, how can I still get the most out of this game? How can I, you know, have some fun with this game before, you know, it is, it, it's time to say goodbye. And like I said before, I really don't want to say goodbye. And I know a lot of players are anticipating 20. I'm anticipating 20. But if you have this type of team, and like I said, if you grinded for this type of team, you really don't want to see it go. But um, let me show you some of the other cards I have. I didn't do this last time. So I do have special cards in the back end of my club. Um, so hold on. Okay. So yeah, I did get Taurus Summer. Luka Jovic, uh, Silva, Fernandinho, Tellez, they all didn't make it on, onto my first, you know, on, on my squad page. Da Costa, Schultz, Goretzka, Lozano, Mendy, Richarlison, uh, Can, uh, Chan, uh, Sule, I, I still haven't looked up how to pronounce his name, Jimenez, Gilvogi, and yeah, and I forgot to, I was actually really, really busy and I and I messed up on a couple of the swap deals players that happens from time to time you know we do have lives outside of this so it is just one of those things where you know hey big deal it's the end of the FIFA you know you got to find a way to make it more fun and which brings me to the next part of my introduction um I'm thinking of ways to make this game fun and the only way I can think about it is to create a new series or just to test out a new series. And I'm thinking of having it be a draft to player pick um, stipulation type game where you go into a draft, play as many matches, one to four, whichever you end off with. And then depending on what your rewards are from wherever um, you land in the draft, one two three four you know if you if you only win one or none you get the silver players packs uh oftentimes so whatever you get as your rewards you have to take five of those players put it into your squad and play one friendlies match with a quasi squad five of the players from your rewards from draft into your into your starting lineup everyone else on the bench can remain but five have to start chem or off chem whatever and yeah you have to get into a match in friendlies and you know play it before you can discard or transfer it or whatever so i'm thinking about doing that and you know what i think i will so without further ado let's place fifteen thousand coins on a gamble and let's see the formations that come up Okay, we're gonna try to speed through this process. I don't want to drain everyone out with this. Um, the four triple two. Everyone seems to like this formation. It's one of my favorite formations as well. And hopefully we get something good. I'm gonna take the Sturge just to start off. Um, just so I can get more special cards. Any anyone that can be used as a special can still be, you know, uh, they can still show up in the draft. So let's see. Um. Oh, where do I want to go with this? I think I'm going to take the Brazilian just because it could give Kem. Popular League. We uh, Okay. For my next striker, it's going to be... Actually, I think Ballin's good. It's got a great left foot. Decent pace. Nothing too crazy. Um, hmm. For my Cam. Alright, so... Julian Brandt. Or nine golems is actually the better card. This Havertz card is good. The Sane card is good. Sane would actually give a better link. I mean, it's the same league, but the Brent card is the one I am going to go with, simply because it gives you that strong, that very, very strong link. Um, hmm. The Rossi card is the best card here. Um, doesn't link to anybody, so we'll have to figure that out. Hmm. 
Munier gets that link there. Um, but the Fernandinho or the Rice, let me see. I think the Rice card is actually really good. I had this card, but um, I didn't use him. He's medium, medium. Okay, so you know what? I haven't used him so much in this game, but Declan Rice, you are in. Um, so let's see. Um, Villas in two. Uh, I'll just go with him for now. I don't think it's going to make a difference. Uh, the Sule card, um, it's not ideal. Chiellini could link with uh, De Rossi, and I can try to make that work or you know, set it and forget it, see what happens, see where the draft takes me. The Hermoso card, how tall is he? 6-0. What's a medium medium? Okay. Um but does he link to anybody? That's the question. Who do we have to link? Prem and Italian. Prem Italian. Prem Italian. Prem Italian. I don't see Prem. I don't see Italian. Or is am I losing my mind at what time is it now? 327. Um, okay, so I think I'm gonna just take this Hermoso card. Not that I want to, but um uh, just to just to get going just to because remember we have to play however many matches one to four and then you have to play that that stipulation match in in the friendlies so it is one of those things uh, uh, I think I'm gonna go with uh, Roussillon yeah or yeah I'm just because those other two guys I can, those other two prem guys I can pick up as a team of the season card. So I'm just gonna wager that I'll pick up something better. Hmm. Uh, I think the, you know what, I can't take a chance. Actually, it doesn't even matter. Um, uh, that really, really bites. Okay, the Gil Vogi card, they're really trying to push on to people right now for whatever reason. Um, okay, so Chiellini, um, I really don't have a choice here. Uh, I'll just take him for the, the link and then see who else I get and maybe I get a super sub. Verratti, uh, I think the correct choice would be Ericsson here. Not that I want to choose this Ericsson card. It's a pretty low rated one. I mean, could have gotten like a team of the season. But um, yeah, it is what it is. Hmm, 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 hmm. Okay. I think it's the Marek Hamshik, right? Um, that seems to be the correct choice. Actually, no. You gotta get a link to Hermoso, so... There. Green link. Still not gonna be good. That's a... That's a really crappy... I'm all over the place right now, so I just have to hope that... Um... You know, I can fix this up. Because it's looking pretty dirty right now. Mm. Who can I choose that'll actually be beneficial I'll just take the Suso card um, I don't think he's gonna get a spot in the okay so Jordi Alba is what I'm gonna go with here simply because I can do this and it'll boost the chem in my defense I don't like how a lot of these guys are looking in my team right now. That messy card is looking really, really solid. Um, so I do need a full back, a left back, right back. Um, so I'm gonna use the Salah card. I'm gonna bring him on. Uh, he will be really, really off chem uh, because I'm going to swap him with a uh, Zhao Cancelo card if I don't get anything. So, nobody that I can link to with Chiellini. Wow, that bites. That bites, that bites, that bites, that bites. 
Um, I'm going to take the Maris card, believe it or not. Um, I think he is left-footed. Medium, medium, 4 or 5. And, um, yeah. So I'm on 96 chem. It's not too bad of a squad, but it can definitely be better. Okay, this Neymar card, I know, will find us. Wait, what am I doing? The Neymar card will definitely find its way into my into my super subs so yeah okay so wait okay so the Kimmich card he's high low though that's what I was just remembering hmm you know what I think my midfield may need to be propped up a little no I have two in the midfield uh, wait no I have one in the midfield take the Kimmich card I can always play him off cam in the center. Um, yeah, so I think that's how my team is looking. Not that good, but you know, there is such a thing as making do. And I'm one of those guys. I will, I can make do with this squad. It's not that big of a deal. Um, but what I am noticing right now is that I think the Fallen card. Let me see something. He's a lefty, so I want to cut in with that. Can I do this? No. The way I had it set up was optimal. Yeah, it's a 96. So I may be able to get perfect uh, a full chem. Uh, let's see. I take that back. Um, I'll get 97 chem. And uh, that'll boost two guys. So, I mean, it's not that bad, but it could be better. Could definitely, definitely uh, use room for improvement. But the solo okay, so how it's looking right now, I don't like high low in the back, even with the options of staying back while attacking. But you know what? I'll do the Kimmich. I'll give him a try. I haven't really used him this year. So, yeah, what's going on with my controllers? I have to buy new controllers. <clears throat> okay. So I'm going to for for merging sake and for editing sake, I'm going to stop this video right here, get into the matches and create that as a separate video and then merge them together in post editing so that's gonna take this is gonna take a little while but um this is how the selection ended up being um so Sturge is a lefty so he'll cut inside and then I have to smash it with Volland um the Neymar is probably gonna come on if we're being honest the Neymar is gonna come on right away probably for Sturge because he is um lower rated and his work rates really suck and um yeah, it seems like these three guys right here are going to come on right away. But, um, yeah, that's it for this. Um, I'll see you guys in the matches shortly. And then, of course, the rewards. Remember, it's a stipulation match in the friendlies. Five of these guys have to go into my squad. Five of the p players that I pull from the packs, from the rewards. Okay, I'll see you guys shortly. All right, so I am getting into my first match in draft, and I'm just connecting with my opponent right now. I don't know how my team is going to play at this given stage in the in time, but I do know that the squad is kind of decent, and you see his team, the chemistry on his team is really low. So either he's a really good player, and he's you know he doesn't care about the chem, or you know he he just he, he's just a noob and he and he doesn't know what he's doing and he just wanted to play Hi with there, high everybody. ranked players but um Smith, as you can see you, it was time to get this. into the match and i'm gonna let these guys come on right away so i do put on kimmich and i do put on wait do i put on neymar no i think in the first match i just let this rock and see how these guys are going to perform 
So, is it time? This guy's taking his well, sweet this could time. Be a contest, okay, and kicks off. Now. And we instantly get into the match. And, he you know, he, now. he seems like he knows what he's doing. So, side. I'm just kicking around the ball, well, getting a feel for how he's moving. Today. And the lag in this match, I actually had a good draft because I am speaking, I am commenting after playing these matches, so I did have a fairly decent draft. But in the first match, there was some timing discrepancies for the inputs. It does happen, it's a part of the territory, I've said it before. But yeah, right here you can see he instantly catches me off guard. And with Chiesa, he puts it in at the four minute mark. Um, I totally wasn't expecting that, but it's good to gauge your opponent. They're gonna count it as the five minute mark. Um, yeah, I totally didn't expect that. And he was actually kind of worrying me for a little while because he was intercepting well, but um, we move right along um, because it was just a lot of back and forth action. And I don't want to bore you with that, but we get to the 31 minute mark, the 32 minute mark, and I'm passing around the ball. Declan Rice is absolutely tremendous. He is making those interception plays for me. And we're coming up on it right here. This through pass to Neymar. I brought on Neymar because Sturge wasn't, ha wasn't doing it for me. That Neymar goal, absolutely clinical in the finish definitely definitely an ice cold shot so i was happy i did tie it up and in this match what you're going to notice is that i was playing with kevin volan but the thing is volan wasn't doing it for me in this match so i did put on mares but right here you're gonna see it i come into an aggressive mistake of a tackle well it, it really just was like a, a flub kind of like animation flub and he instantly gets a penalty but i guess the right way boom denied denied you know like in key and peel nice well this was denied right so we move right along and it's it's around the 54 minute mark the gameplay gets interesting again. So remember, I did bring on Mares. I took off Allen. He wasn't doing it for me. There is still some timing issues. But as we can see, the sides have been switched. We are in the second half now. And I just laser pass this to Mares. And he misses. And then another miss on top. Well, he didn't miss. He got, the, he got blocked by the goalie. And then Neymar misses with an absolutely screaming miss with a total blunder just shoots it way off and it was an open goal so i was kicking myself then so yeah it's still 1-1 and then erickson with that through pass of dreams and i pass it with neymar and Mares slots it home it was a sloppy goal it should have been a little cleaner but hey, it counts nonetheless right off the goalie. Hey, that's kind of kind of tough. That's kind of a tough one to con concede. It was an aggressive shot. But yeah, it's on Morris' weak foot as well. I should have switched him around. But then we fast forward to the 84th minute and we just see that he is trying to come back and he shoots that shot and my goalie comes up big i am thanking my goalie at this point in the match and then whew, that header another one torres oh my god he, this guy really started applying the pressure and it was difficult i'm not gonna lie i'm not gonna sugarcoat it this first draft match was difficult getting used to my players how they move how they behave what I can expect when you don't know your players in drafts it is like that especially in the first match you know not how you know I've played with most of these players but you know how they play together but you see another through pass of dreams and then they pass it to Neymar Neymar passes it to Mares and that slots it in it is 3-1 at the ending of the first match with Mares 
and that was absolutely just a an easy goal to make it 3-1 it was a sloppy goal to concede he wasn't expecting that third pass to Mares and you know just having your goalie out like that you know out of position it does sting so this guy he instantly paused the game afterwards you know he, he needed to catch himself he probably you know was probably like kicking and screaming in the background of this match but yeah um that's how the first match finished and like i said before in previous matches i am a defensive minded player so you know it's gonna be tough it's gonna be a little boring to watch at times but you know it makes it that much more difficult for these guys i'm not even on full per you know on perfect chem but i'm very close to it we do go into the second match and i do get the hang of my players at this point in the game you, you know at this point in in draft i you know i understand how they're going to move in game sarabia i'm not going to be relying on for his cdm role i'm going to treat him more as a cm in game uh you know i'm not going to be making wild tackles with him i i already know what the card plays like i i've had him in my in my club before um but yeah the second match this guy has full perfect chem he has a beast team his back line is a little slow and actually it's very slow but his midfield is 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 decent and you know it's it's it was a tougher match than the first one but the connection was actually really good in this match so not too many complaints connectivity wise and you see i do put on kimmich and neymar immediately and it's just one of those things where Sturge's work rates just really, really are poor. Hi, I don't Martin like Tyler playing with those work rates, especially in draft when you do have points on the line. Game. You know, it's the ending of FIFA. That doesn't even really matter. Well, but, you know, it's just one of those side. things where, you know, just in case they release a challenge, a marquee matchup or something like that. Not a marquee matchup, an SBC, and you know stuff match. like that. You can Marcelo still get the most Cabo out of this game before FIFA 20 is officially out and about. Um, there are rumors going around that you know certain people have copies of the game already, which sucks. You know, but I guess these guys, those guys are like you know the insiders or you know they. You know, whatever. But that's the rumor. I don't know how true it is. You can't take my word for it. But we get to the 29-minute mark, and my guy, my opponent, nearly rips me to shreds with an amazing shot. But luckily, it hit the post. And then we fast forward to the second half because it really was just a boring back and forth because it was just a lot of interceptions a lot of tackles my opponent was really tough the second match I you don't usually expect that but the only people playing drafts in FIFA 19 at this stage of the game are the you know are the really hardcore guys the casual guys have already switched off but you can see i do get that shot with brant um brant is actually really dangerous and he's actually a fairly decent card it was the first time i played with him in game i did attack him before but i sold him immediately i needed to um gather coins for my conte in my club but yeah this guy took a very very long time to break down and as you can see we're coming up on it Chiellini passes Ericsson I have my guys pressing up high up Neymar gets the ball a stupid mistake by PK and Neymar slots in the first goal to make it 1-0 at the 64 minute mark so it was a sloppy goal to concede and plus it was a garbage goal as well because you know it was just one of those things where PK's handling let him down and he instantly tries to come back he does put on the pressure it is after kickoff and it's just one of those things where you know you have to defend for your life at this point and hopefully you know you can switch back the momentum I am tackling like crazy I am timing my tackles as well as I possibly can and 
you know, he's just applying pressure and I'm trying to hit him on a counter and that's what you're going to see right here. Mars nice. is on. Ericsson Christian passes Erickson. the ball. This Ericsson card is really good, Erickson. even though it is a lower rate. Every Ericsson card behaves this way. But you can see I just passed that ball to Brandt and absolutely whips it in the 70th minute. And yeah, this card actually was pretty, pretty decent. And I haven't used him that much in this game. So it was fun to try well, him out, his team of the season card. And that first time bar, shot, he can do nothing it. about it. But like I said, this guy, right after kickoff, he does come out guns blazing every time. And he, he was a tough guy to break down. So I did make a defensive slip up right there. He passes the ball to Figo and wow, what a curl. What an amazing goal by my opponent. And nothing I could really do about that because I couldn't anticipate the speed at which he let that ball off at, but it was really accurate. And you know what? I said, you know, let me just shut this guy down instantly at this point. I am controlling the ball well. I am keeping the ball comfortably. And right here, I take a beautiful touch with Mares and I just make that spin shot. And boom, boom, boom. Mares instantly makes it 3-1. And that is that. Wow, what a touch. Mares' touch does not let him down in this game. That card is absolutely a thing of beauty in that position. You know, he isn't a Messi. He's Hazard. like right under the, the really, really big Mbappe cards and Messi cards and, you know, all those, all those cleared, amazing so right wing patience. cards. Best card comes to mind. I have those guys a lot. But, you know, that Mares card is just like slightly under them. But yeah, that's how the second match finishes. And I did, and I am doing my audio post-processing. So it's just one of those things where I, there's a lot of editing behind the scenes and I'm trying to get this video out as fast as possible. I did do it at 3 a.m. in the morning. It was like from three to five, I did the trap. And then everything else was just uploading and clips and splicing clips i'm still getting the hang of this stuff you know i am a rookie when it comes to content creation and you know there's no shame in that but yeah this is going to be the end of the first half um of match one and match two and hopefully i'll show you clips you know from the rest of the draft and you'll get an idea of how i do in this draft i'll see you shortly